Ash, you're coming to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Dolph is a guy's guy, and he's a cop. And and all most of Jean Claude's men sit off your radar. <laughs> Even if they're straight, they're pretty. And 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 you know he's already he wants to be pissed. He's going to look for reasons to be pissed. So we need to send him as normal a person as we can. And Willie, Edward, Willie, Edward. Willie, 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 we can take Willie. So Willie would be irritating for other reasons. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea. I will have to I have to come up with someone else. Okay. Um, so who has to ask a question? No? no. You've had two, I think. So, no, I haven't had any. You don't have one? Okay, wait. Have you had a question? No. Okay. This is totally not book related, but just throwing this out there as an idea. We were talking earlier. There's a lot of places in St. Louis that aren't really there, but, you know, we, we follow and meet up down that highway. We know the way she's going. Maybe it's a fundraiser building, you know, a tour to go down those ways. Just something that. Oh, you mean do a tour of St. Louis the way Anne Rice has a tour of New Orleans? Uh, no? You know, like, but, like, come on, help me out. <laughs> 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 we, we know the places that the Indy goes, even though they aren't, like, explicitly said, this is where this is. But we'd like to see them. Um, you know, if somebody bad happens, that happens that. in a Nita book, in a rule, I take it to a place that you can find the streets, not the building. Mm -hmm. If it's something that can happen without my magic system in place. Mm -hmm. Um... If you, so if it's something that can hurt you, like the cave, the cave in book three is not where it is in the book. There are no caves where I put it in the books. It's based on a real cave. One of the most dangerous things in the world you can do is, is do water in caves. Di cave diving is really, really dangerous. And so I'm, by book three, I knew you guys followed me around in the books. Mm -hmm. I, knew, I knew that you guys would follow where I was writing. And so I moved the cave. And people thought I was too cautious first signing, someone came up and said, the cave wasn't where you said it was. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, and what were you going to do in the cave? <laughs> and they said, what we were going to try to do in Nina's route. I said, the Nina survived barely <laughs> in my head. I'm glad I said, well, that's why I moved it. And I explained the dangers of diving in caves with water and, and how it was one of the most dangerous things. The only thing more dangerous is ice diving. Yeah. Why is ice diving dangerous? Because you cut a hole in the ice, then you go down, visibility sucks, and if you can't find the hole, you die. Yeah. <laughs> Cave diving also has some of the same things. You go down, if you can't get back up, there's no there's no saving throw on this one. So that's why I moved the cave. So any place that the danger can happen without my magic system, I move it. Okay. and somebody decides they did it instead. <laughs> but for the most part, yeah, I do, and I do major plot points, but I don't know how we're getting there. So how my character's choosing it, or it's like a read, do your own adventure book. You have three choices, and once you choose one of the choices, then that plot line is where we're going and those others are lost. Um, often with the relationship uh, portion, that is what we do, because I don't know what people are gonna choose. I'm not dating any of them. Contrary to popular internet rumor, I'm not dating any of these people. They're not real. <laughs> <laughs> I can figure out how to get these people to be real enough to date. I can make more money than I'm making writing. <laughs> it's frightening. <laughs> that would be frightening, actually. And it would be like pimping out your friends. That's just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be standing like me. <laughs> Enough. Stop. <laughs> Do we need to? Okay. Do you want to do announcements? A couple announcements. Of course, the big announcements, she's already done. She's read the, 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 the deal for the next three books. Um, let's see. The comic book, Guilty Pleasures. We're wrapping it up. Issue 12 will be on the stands June 18th. Yay! 
A through 12, Fine and Fuse, Guilty Pleasure, the hardcover, Volume 2, which is issues 7 through 12, will be av available J July 22nd. Now, for those of you that have really enjoyed the comic and have really enjoyed seeing the, the story in, in graphic format, uh, Laughing Corpse, we're working on issue one right now. Um, right now, as, as of this moment, Swallowing Darkness, Mary Number 7, is coming out November 4th. Election Day, go vote. <laughs> or, or buy a book, take it with you to wait in line, we go. and go read some more. Um, one last announcement. Uh, there's a, we, we've set up a sort of short notice wolf howl at the uh, Wolf Sanctuary, June 17th. Uh, I think there's still tickets available. Okay, uh, about 30 tickets. Uh, it's $20 per ticket. You get in, you get to hear uh, Laurel read from Swallowing Darkness. You get to, you know, walk down if the weather's really good or if the weather isn't really good. You get to walk down near the wolf enclosures and hear them howl. Uh, all the proceeds from this go directly to the Wolf Sanctuary. As a, th there's a gift shop there also, so, you know, bring extra cash to, to help support them. As a special, extra special uh, bonus feature for this Wolf Howl, SJ Tucker will be playing a concert there. She's a really, really cool um, uh, up and coming artist. She's really cool. She's agreed to play. So it's Pagan Celtic Rock. She's pretty amazing. Um, so that's the final announcement. And then I think we're going to. Oh, wait. She's got one more thing. Okay. Yes. <laughs> do, do you want to come up or do you want me to come to you? I'll give you a choice. And not many people get choices, okay? <laughs> Uh, Missy recently became a grandma. Missy is one of the people that helps do the comic book, who goes over the stuff and makes sure we don't miss stuff. So, and she is now a grandma for the first time. It's okay that the newborn baby didn't come. <laughs> All right, uh, are we? Unless we had a, one last burning question. All right, one last one. fight with Bert some more. We've clipped Bert's wings. Bert's only the business manager now. He gets too uppity. We'll kick his butt to the curb. Um, yes, it was more fun to fight with him, and yes, he will fight, but I have a plot in mind with Anita and Bert going out of town, just the two of them. There's <laughs> <laughs> the term business trip from hell. <laughs> yeah, so, so, but I gotta get there. I gotta get there. So the book that we're doing, the book that I, is after Blood Noir is going to be Edward, Anita going off with Edward, and uh, and hunting bad things, very bad things. But I don't know where we're gonna get to it. Like Mrs. Pringle and Babesitting Custard, I don't know where we're gonna get to it. Okay, all right, that's it. And we're gonna